Wow, did I not feel uh, wanted in that gym. Holy crap, guys, that's not even a gym I go to. I just went to this like red con gym. I always heard it was good. And uh, wow, you know, first thing, I'm not gonna lie, first impression was amazing. Equipment's very new. Everything's looking nice. The manager was fucking amazing. That guy, that, that guy was cool. He was a G. Uh, yeah, he was cool as fuck. Um, and I'm working out and I didn't get a lot of footage because, dude, there was this fucking guy. There was this old guy. He had to be, like, in his 50s, bro, maybe 60. He kept himself in good shape, though, I will admit, you know? And he was an asshole, bro. Dude, he was a fucking asshole. I never experienced something like this, dude. The guy, I was on one machine, and it was a machine where, like, you have to individually place plates on the machine. So I was on a machine. I was doing back, obviously, as you guys saw. And the guy comes up to me. I have my headphones, and I'm doing my set. And the guy comes up to me. And he's loading a 45 on the side of my machine. And I was like, okay. And that's, there's nothing wrong with that. But the problem here is the fact that I had my camera because I didn't have anyone help me film because I'm alone, obviously. And I had my tripod in the corner. Like in the side, it's not blocking anyone's way. It was like, you know, I wasn't even filming that shot in particular. And it's in the corner. Right, it's it's kind of next to my little rack where the machine is, and he goes purposely to load a 45 there and try to do it. And I'm, even then, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm a very respectful person, you know. What I'm saying so automatically, I'm just, oh, I'm really sorry, and he just like ignores me. And then he says to me, and he's like, yeah, it's uh, not the best place to have your equipment. And I'm like, sorry about that. I was a little confused because in my head I'm thinking like, yeah, I mean, I guess he could say that, but like. I'm on this machine and that's my rack because I'm using the machine. Like, why are you putting it? You know what I'm saying? Like, it made no fucking sense. But I was like, okay, whatever. Fine. It's it's cool. So I'm working out. I fucking work out. And then I'd say about like 15 minutes later, I go to do traps, which I didn't film because I go on the Smith machine. You know, I usually like to do like barred traps, like with the, like little rows and shit. Just like, I don't know. I, I just like doing that shit. So actually, no, it was actually the machine after that machine where I go. I go across from the gym and I go to that machine, I grab all my shit, I put it over there, I set the Smith down, and then I go head back to the other machine because I have weights on there and shit like that. I only had like a 45 on there, but I was heading back. And as I turn around, you guys ever notice like when you're like in wherever and it doesn't matter exactly like where specifically, but you ever like had a feeling like somebody's like trying to get your attention or talk to you or somebody's talking to you. And so you kind of like look for a second. And so I kind of had that feeling. So then I stop for a second as I'm like heading there and I hear the guy, he comes up to me, the old guy, the one that was being a fucking cocksucker. And then I take off my headphones, my AirPods, and he looks at me and he's like, hey, are you uh, you still using that machine over there? I was like, no, I just finished. He's like, can you go rock your weights? And I was like, uh, yeah, no, I just got off of there. I, you know, I was putting my stuff back. And he's like, yeah, well, can you go rack them? And I was like, what the fuck? I'm like in my head, I'm like, okay. And that's not even it. I go to fucking rack the weights. I ignore it. I'm just respectful, you know, I'm chilling, whatever. And then as I go back to my current fucking exercise where I'm about to start doing traps, he's working out with the fucking guy, like this fuck, other fucking geezer, this 50, 60 year, I'm not even gonna make fun of him, let me just stop. Anyways, I'm better than that, I got class, okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, he goes and he starts talking shit about me, like I hear him through my headphones and he talks louder because he's assuming that I have music playing when I didn't because... I don't know. I just didn't have music playing. Well, I didn't have music playing because I stopped it when the guy approached me. But when I come back after I rack the weights, I hear him talking shit about me. He's like, yeah, that's what they all say. They all make excuses as to why they don't rock weights, this and this and that. But, you know, it is like I was just like in my head. I'm like, dude, at that point, I was pissed off. I was a little bit upset and it got to me. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really get and, and nobody usually gets to me. I'm going to be completely real with you. Like, I don't have that ever happening to me personally, but this guy specifically just got to me because I don't know. It was just fucking annoying, you know, and I was like, dude, like I'm literally minding my own fucking business. The first day I go to that gym, not planning on getting a membership because it's too fucking far from my house anyways. And the guy was being a cocksucker. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And he, he's not the only one. There was like, I don't know. I just felt like 
I don't know. I just, I just did not feel wanted in that fucking gym. So I just got the fuck out of there after my workout, right? Oh, guys, uh, you know what's funny? Last week, uh, you know, the video where you guys saw me approaching girls with this fucking big ass beard and shit. Yeah, that video, you know what's funny? Is on the way home, I got into my first ever car accident after I filmed that fucking video. Can you believe that shit? Like, life doesn't get worse, right? <laughs> so, essentially what happened there... I want to explain this story because th this is fucking crazy. This is insane. I'm on the highway, never have gone to a car accident ever. Like, I'd consider myself to be a pretty reasonable driver. I don't drive, like, over the speed limit. I drive within the speed limit. I Like, I'm, I'm just a normal driver. I got nothing to prove, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even in a fucking fast-ass sports car. This is, like, a fucking normal-ass work car with no fucking AC on top of that. And, yeah, so I'm driving the highway... All the lanes are open, but I'm in the middle of Miami, so you already know traffic's up the ass, so there's a bunch of cars just going like, vroom, vroom, vroom. it's Miami, you know, it's like fucking New York almost. All of a sudden, I, like, I don't know, for those of you who do drive, if you guys are old enough to drive or you fucking have license or whatever, you ever, like, had those feelings where, like, you're driving, whether you're on the highway in the street or whatever, and you, the car in front of you, you feel like you're getting close to the car like a little too fast you feel like you're getting a little too close to the car too fast you know what i'm saying because you're assuming they're driving but they're just driving substantially slower than you and you know no i'm on the highway so i wouldn't think that they would be at a full-on stop especially since there wasn't a uh, traffic jam or anything that's how i felt there was a tesla in front of me and i was far i had to be at least four three three and a half four cars away from this car and i was like dude what the fuck like i'm uh, the, this is the car this is the tesla this is me I'm getting really close. I'm assuming he's going slow just based off illusion. You know what I'm saying? And no, in reality, the motherfucker was at a full on stop. And so when I realized that after I slowed down, I just completely fucking slammed the brakes. That didn't do shit. I mean, it did shit, but it didn't do enough shit. Like literally I started sliding. And so all of a sudden I'm just like, Aah! and I was like hoping I'm like, fuck, like don't hit him. Don't hit this fucking Tesla, please. And all of a sudden, Boom! I fucking slam into this motherfucker, but it wasn't a bad collision whatsoever. Like, I literally just scratched the back of the car just a little bit. It wasn't, not even a dent. Uh, the front of my car is a little bit uh, dented, but it, it's not really, like, anything. Like, if you even saw the before and after of this car that I'm in, like, you wouldn't even have noticed that there was a difference, to be honest. It's not that big of a deal. But it's the fact that I still hit him, technically speaking, you know? And so I was like, okay, I got to get out the fucking car now. But here's the crazy part. Here's the fucking crazy part. I get out the car and the guy in the Tesla gets out the fucking car. And then I notice in front of him, there's another car. This motherfucker hit the car in front of him. And that car that was in front of him hit the car in front of him. So that's why this motherfucker was stopped. So you got to think in my head, I'm like, Oh my fucking God. It's been a long ass day for me. I don't want to deal with this. This is happening. Okay, whatever. So I go, I'm like, yo, are you all right, man? He's like, yeah, I'm good. It's like some old guy. But this is the craziest part about the whole fucking thing. The guy all the way in the front, all of a sudden I see this guy get out the car, yelling at the guy behind him that started the accident that hit him. And he's yelling at the top of his lungs. I'm going to fucking kill you. He grabs open the fucking door of the guy and there's like four females in the back of the, it's, it was like an SUV. There was like four females crying and there was another guy in the passenger and the fucking, all these girls were fucking tearing up and shit. Please don't hurt us because this motherfucker opened the door. He's like, I'm going to fucking kill you, 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 you. I'm going to beat the fuck out of you. I'm going to murder you. I'm, like he started losing his mind. At this point, I'm so fucking confused. I'm in the middle of the highway in Miami after I just filmed a long ass video with fucking sunburn all over. I already have a fucking horrible ass fucking farmer's tan. I got sand left over on my legs and arms. And so I'm like, ah, oh, dude, I gotta do something. Like these fucking, this is getting a little out of hand here. Like this dude fucking is opening this guy's door, telling him he's gonna, you know, telling these people he's gonna fucking kill him and shit. So I kind of grab him on the side. I'm like, bro, relax, bro. It's not that serious. Like calm down. The guy that he was fucking was yelling at, he was yelling at because the guy spoke complete Spanish. He didn't understand language he was asking for his license and registration he didn't fucking understand so i'm like dude relax bro it's gonna be okay i'll fucking pull up google translate okay so i pulled up google translate the guy gave him his license registration then the cop came and i'm not gonna lie the cop was cool as fuck cop was a uh, fucking g all right motherfucker looked like he was from top gun he had like a slick ass fucking fade 
hair to the side. He had a nice mustache like me, but everything else clean shaven. He looked like a G, you know what I'm saying? He was cool as fuck. He was understanding. I told him the side of the story of everything. Yeah, so this dude was, uh, like, I swear, this dude was losing his mind. I was convinced that he had a gun in his pocket, and he was about to pull that shit out and just start blasting people, bro. I swear. Like, I'm not even fucking with you. But at the point I'm in my life, I just, I couldn't even give more less of a fuck if he did like i would have just been like brother just take me out dog just take me out do me a favor you know what i'm saying uh but yeah guys i hope you guys have a beautiful day and uh it's a boy kevin diaz from crew aesthetics and yeah just uh subscribe man that's that's really all i gotta fucking say i don't really know what else to say i'm just giving you guys updates on my life There's just to show you guys like personally the reason why i make these videos is not only because i i don't know i like to story tell but show you guys that i'm human you know i'm human too and i go through shit you know you guys see the muscles and, you know, you see the videos where I'm picking up girls and flirting with them and I have my confidence in this and this and that and whatever and I don't give a fuck and I'm charismatic per se. But I go through shit too, man. Like, I'm a fucking human and I got a lot of shit going on in my life and, you know, I'm just, I'm just documenting it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just embracefully just being proud in a way, I guess, and just like talking to you guys and basically essentially saying, in other words, that you're not alone. You got people like this asshole who seems like he's got it all right and... He knows what to fucking do in life, you know? But yeah, no, like, straight up, like, I know it looks like I have it all figured out and shit like that. You know, I'm like this guy with the aesthetics and all this. Like, bro, I don't I don't have it all figured out. Pro trust me. Like, I am far from that. Uh, as well as I'm assuming a lot of you guys are. So don't worry. If I'm far from that, you guys don't have to stress yourselves, okay? Uh, the important thing is that at least you're striving for something. You're heading forward, not backwards, you know? So, yeah, uh, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. And it's your boy Kevin Diaz from Crew Aesthetics. And we are out, motherfuckers. See ya. <laughs>